worker at Westchester University has come down with a case of Legionnaire's disease. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Carabello is live for us at that school with more on how officials are taking action. Jan, good morning. Nicole, good morning. Here's the good news. There are no students here at Westchester University right now, so the risk for exposure is limited. And school officials have already brought in experts to deal with the contaminated areas. What they're doing right now is monitoring these areas to make sure this bacteria doesn't return at a dangerous level. Earlier this week, when Westchester University learned that one of its employees was diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease, school officials brought in experts to test the campus for contamination. A higher than acceptable level of Legionella bacteria was found in the cooling towers of eight buildings, including the library and student union. The school quickly sent out this memo to 1,000 employees. In it, officials said a remediation team had been hired to kill the bacteria over the course of two days. The letter went on to explain that the presence of Legionella bacteria does not mean that a person will contract Legionnaire's disease. Since the bacteria exists naturally in the environment, people often receive low level exposure without contracting the disease. The bacteria also cannot be passed from person to person. People become infected by inhaling the bacteria, which causes a severe lung infection like pneumonia. There have been about 2,200 reported cases of Legionnaire's disease nationwide since January, 100 in New York City. This particular outbreak is still under investigation. There have been 31 cases in the South Bronx over the past two weeks. Two people have died, including John Rouse's brother. I don't think it's common for an otherwise healthy 52-year-old man to pass away in 2015 from Legionnaire's disease. Health experts say early detection is key. This is a treatable disease. The symptoms are like the flu, and doctors say it's important to start on antibiotics quickly to reduce risks. And the employee who tested positive here is undergoing treatment right now. And Nicole, interestingly enough, Legionnaire's disease is actually named from an outbreak that happened in Philadelphia in 1976. A lot of people went to an American Legion convention and contracted this disease. We were reporting live in Westchester this morning. Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. How about